guys welcome welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here welcome welcome back i'm grace so in this video we're going to be doing a makeup tutorial as i can already tell by the title we're going to be doing a minimal makeup look which i'm so excited to do but one thing that i'm really excited about as well it's also me filming with my brand new camera so as y'all may or may not know i used to film with the canon 740 hs and for my birthday which was on monday i just got a new camera which is the sony so i'm really excited to film with this camera i think the quality is absolutely amazing but we're not going to be talking too much about the camera and let's go ahead and get started with the minimal makeup tutorial so let's get started okay so first off we're going to be starting out with my brows which is like one of my most important steps now i don't really like to fill in my brows too much which y'all may or may already know like i just fill in the ends a little bit but my ends have been kind of growing so i wouldn't really have to fill them in so much i just like make them a little bit more darker but for brows i use the y7 twist and shape brow pencil which is a drugstore item which is in the shade dark brown so we're just going to be filling in the ends of my brows just like a little bit i don't really like having full blown dark brows which i used to have before which is kind of weird but now i don't do that anymore and i'm going to show you guys my skin prep after i'm done with my brows so i just got done filling in my brows as y'all can see y'all can pretty much see that there's not really that much of a difference because that's how i like to keep my brows now we're going to go with the y7 brow grip which is the dupe of the NYX, I think. That's one of the main reasons to why I bought it, because I could not find the NYX anywhere. So I was like, you know what? If I can't find it, I'm going to get the dupe. And I got the dupe. And I feel like it does what it's supposed to do. But one thing I really don't like about this is that it gets sticky after a few hours. But I'm not going to have this makeup look for a really long time. So I'm just going to put a little amount just to hold up my brows for the moment. <laughs> So as I told you guys, I was going to show you guys my skin prep, which is just two products, honestly, which is the Nivea sun, uh, Face Cream Moisturizer and then the Sunscreen, the CeraVe one, for the ones asking for my skin prep. Now, before I do my makeup, I always do my skincare, so like, I don't really have a skin prep, but if I were to do my makeup in the middle of nowhere, those are the two products that I would usually go on with. Now, we're going to carve out my brows with my foundation, which is basically just my shade, so we're just going to carve out under my under brows and over brows because we're not going to be using foundation for this look so i'm just going to use a little bit of foundation to do my brows so now i'm currently just going over with some primer which is the nyx plump right back primer which is basically one of my favorite primers of all times besides from the elf i need to actually buy it because it just came back to the stores it was sold out for the longest time ever because i would always have to order from the uk but now it's finally back to stock in my country which i'm so happy about i'm gonna be trying the pink one if i can find it i've not really heard a lot of people talk about the pink one i feel like the blue one has kind of been like the main hype but this is my primer and this is how we look after primer we're gonna go over with some glow for the skin so this is the fenty beauty east drop i had this for like the longest time ever and no matter how hard i try to clean this it does not work it's just been through a lot so i just like let it be like this i really love this whenever i want to do like a glowy makeup look i've not been using this as much as i used to but for me i just feel like it has the best consistency for like a glowy makeup look in my opinion i really like blending it out with my hands because my hands get really really sticky but y'all can see the glow that it kind of gives and i'm all here for like a glowy moment so as y'all can see i very much love this product i feel like there's a dupe for this i have not really covered up the name but if there's a dupe for this i'm gonna buy it because this one is almost finished and i really love a glowy makeup look for the times that i don't really want to do too much so yeah i'm gonna go with some concealer which is the true shade match loyal concealer i just thought it would be like a great match for my foundation because it's also light coverage i've heard which i'm all here for it which is in the darkest shade medium deep bn which is the darkest shade that they have i think according to the store that I went to this is the darker shade I'm gonna put a little amount so far it feels really really creamy but I don't know how it is itself but I just hope that it's a great concealer because if not then I just wasted a whole bunch of money now this is my concealer placement as always no matter what makeup look I'm doing this will always be my concealer placement while we let that dry we're gonna go over with some contour which I use for bronzing so for contour I'm gonna go over with the Fenty Beauty contour stick that I use for bronzing I'm not really a great contourist whatever you guys call it I'm not good at it at all and I don't know really what I want to contour with my face I'm really happy with the way my face is shaped so I don't really think I need any contour in general so I just use it 
as a bronzer effect i've seen a lot of people do this as well and i just think that this has been the best thing that i do whenever i want to get that sun kiss makeup look and i just put it on my cheeks as always and then on my forehead not really on my nose that much so i just like dab it up like this y'all can't really see it on camera but if you guys get close i can kind of see what i'm talking about i just really love this contour and i really do need to purchase the actual bronzer because i've seen a lot of people use it and it just looks amazing and it gives like more of a bronzing effect than the contour is because it's a lot more warmer than the regular contour if you guys get what i mean so we're just gonna dab it up like this so this is how much i would usually go for and now it's time to go with some blush i've not really used this blush in such a long time honestly i, I think the last time i actually used this was in may or something it actually broke guys that's crazy so we're just gonna use a brush to like take out the small amount and just dab it up on my skin what i really like about this though is that it has like a natural highlight to it so like i wouldn't really have to put highlighter after i'm done applying this blush but one thing i really don't like about this as well is that it's kind of hard to blend out but right now i'm not really having that much issue with it because i haven't really put that much on so i'm just gonna put a little bit more on the other side of the cheek but I just want to make sure that it does not look crazy. So I'm going to go over with my original blush a brush. It's kind of hard to say everything at once. But I'm just going to dab it up on my skin like so. And I think that's pretty much enough. Because now it just looks like a highlighter bomb on, my, on the side of my cheek. I'm going to fix this though. So I'm going to come back once I'm done applying my blush. So far, I actually think I love this concealer. It was really easy to blend out. I feel like if I was using the NYX concealer, which I always use, it would have like been dried down on my skin, especially if I'm not wearing any foundation. As you can tell, we're not wearing any foundation for this makeup look. So now we're gonna set my on dry with the Fenty Beauty Setting Powder, which is my favorite part of all time, as y'all may or may not already know, which is like the only powder that I actually use. I actually need to find some other products because I use the same powder all the time. Like, what if I'm missing out on something that's actually a lot more better? But we're just gonna be setting my under eyes, and I like to set my under eyes under camera because I make a lot of weird faces whenever I set my eyes. But you guys are gonna see how my under eyes are gonna be looking after me applying powder. This before powder, and I'm gonna show you guys how it look after powder. My favorite part, which is bronzing, I used the Revolution bronzer in the shade Mega Bronze Dark 04, and I just bronze up my forehead and a little bit of my cheeks. I'm gonna put some on my eyelids later on which is going to be off camera because i just feel like i have a little creases under my under eye i mean over my eye so we're just going to be doing that precisely i really don't put too much on my eyelids anymore i'm not really a big fan of eyeshadow either way either way i don't know why i'm lagging so much but i think this is enough bronzer for my face now we're going to go with blush which is my favorite part so with some blush i'm going to be using the revolution blush which is in the shade rose kiss i'm just going to blush up my cheeks as usual i've seen some people put blush up on their nose i don't really i think it looks good on them but whenever i do i feel like i look really weird but we're almost done with this makeup look it's been so fast we're only filming for like 10 minutes i don't know how long this video is going to be in itself but usually if i'm not filming this takes me about 10 minutes to do which is a super super duper fast makeup routine even though it looks full glam on me on some other people it looks really natural but for me I feel like it looks a lot more heavier on me, but I still love it. It still looks really, really cute. Now I'm going to set my under eyes with powder for the last time, which is going to be the white and banana, uh, banana powder, loose powder, actually. I'm just going to put it on my under eyes just to make sure that everything looks secured and beautiful and flawless. And then we're going to do my lip combo, and then we're done with this makeup look. Okay guys, I went off camera and did the last few steps and for that I actually just went up with some setting spray and the setting powder that I told you guys I was going to use and then for lip liner and lip combo, I was using the NYX uh, Expresso lip liner and then the MAC Chestnut lip liner which I can see she's almost finished and then I went over with this butter gloss for my lips which is my lip combo for the ones asking and yeah that's just be the end of this entire makeup look i really love how it turned out if you guys also did please make sure to like comment and subscribe and if you guys are wondering about the shades and th different things that i use throughout the video go ahead and check out the description box down below everything will be listed over there and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video peace no i don't like you i just thought you were cool enough to kick it got a beach house i could sell you an idol since you think i don't love you i just thought you were cute that's why i kiss you got a fighter jet i don't get to fly it though i'm lying down thinking about you Ooh, no 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 i've been thinking about you you no 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 i've been thinking about you do you think about me?